you study uh, totalitarianism, when you study different forms of totalitarianism, that the ideological differences are very profound. But when you look at the practice of, say, Stalin's Soviet Union, that difference is much less obvious. For one thing, Stalin was perfectly prepared to regard class identity as hereditary. And if you were the son of uh, a bourgeois or of a nobleman, then you were suspect by definition. So class became a hereditary attribute. Secondly, Stalin's Soviet Union persecuted people on the basis of nationality and race too. I mean, Stalin had his own uh, pathological anti-Semitism in the later part of his life. So what seems like a clear distinction, and I've heard it made many times by academics on mm. the left, that somehow fascism is worse because Marxism is based on class and fascism is based on race, on serious historical inspection, uh, that distinction disappears, or at least it becomes much less meaningful.